High ash, high sulfur, that's a recipe for disaster. Oh, something from Little Lake Power. Mrs. Gill, what did we get in the package? It looks like Little Lake Power has some slagging issues. That's the first I've heard of that. I bet we get a phone call soon. Oh. Perhaps this is them now. Coal Combustion Investigators, this is Rod Hack. Yes, we'd like to get an analysis of the coal during the slagging event, and also some typical analysis of coals that didn't cause slag. Yes, we'll also need some power plant data. Yes, things like load, feeder speeds, and our particular interest will be SO2, either the boiler outlet or scrubber inlet. Yes, because sulfur sometimes correlates with slagging properties. We'll get back to you shortly. Amy, it is work. Using the slag on slag prevents contamination from hammers. Right away I know that this coal is high in pyrites, which are iron sulfides. The iron from pyrites, if unburnt, are both magnetic and promote slag. Even under the microscope, the particles are influenced by the magnet. Hey Rod, I just got the power plant data. I'll start the charts. At a given load, power plants have a consistent heat rate. So changes in coal flow or feeder speeds at steady load indicate coal heating value or BTU content is changing. Sure enough, feeder speeds increased about 5% just prior to the slag. Let's look at boiler SO2 levels. Look right there. SO2 increases prior to the slag event. The higher sulfur helps explain the magnetic slag. Well, did you come to the same conclusion as me? High ash and high sulfur? I've got great news. The power plant is off the hook. It was a coal quality issue. And so Mrs. Gill got it exactly right by looking at the slag and looking at the power plant data. When we compare the typical coal to the coal that caused the slag, we see lower calorific value, higher sulfur, higher ash, and when we express it in pounds of SO2 and pounds of ash per million BTU, and I like expressing it that way, you can see that there's about 30% more sulfur and 45% more ash in the coal that caused the slag. In graphical form, you can see the significant differences in the pounds of SO2 and the pounds of ash in the coal that caused the slag. When I see these differences, I know it's a coal quality problem. It was high ash and high sulfur. That's what caused the slag. I always say it's a recipe for disaster. Make sure you pay attention to boiler SO2 levels and feeder speeds. The higher SO2 levels means the higher slagging coal. The high feeder speeds indicate high ash. And there you have it, another episode in Coal Combustion Investigators.
In summary, coal combustion used several methods to conclusively show that the slag event was a coal quality excursion. We reviewed a lot of plant data that indicated there was no mechanical failures or performance issues at the plant. We looked at coal quality data, plant operational data, and some slag evaluations to convince us that this truly was a change in coal quality or a coal quality excursion. Please consider using us for all of your coal quality and combustion issues. For years, coal combustion has been helping coal plants and the coal industry understand the business of coal. We offer our consulting and training services worldwide. Please visit our website at coalcombustion.com for links to papers, presentations, and more videos. Thanks again.